What's up guys, Graham here. I'm going to show you a guide that is going to allow you to get some gear that will be the 100 hit that you need to get into expert dungeons in the Nightmare Tide. And as you can see by the map, we're going to be going all over the place here. And this guide was originally made by Riftgrate.com. So if you're not going to that website, you're really missing out. As you can see, I am in the southeast area of the Tarkin Glacier and it's on these ships here. Now, Riftgrate.com really found a treasure whenever they posted this because everybody has been covering it. Everybody's been making videos about it. It's such a good guide. This helps so much with the gear. And as you can see, we get the first chest right here. And getting out of this thing is a little bit funny because here you see me trying to jump along the side there. But I learned that if I just turn around and jump on the lower ledge, I can get out pretty easy, but it takes me a moment there. But yeah, everybody is covering this. You know, people are making videos about it. People are writing guides about it. All because Riftgrate.com broke the news on this. And they always had the latest news on everything Rift. So you guys need to go to that website and visit it often. And we're going towards the second chest right over here. Do a little bunny hop over that. And there it is. As you can see, you've got to get right on the chest in order to open them. So, we're going to try to get all of the chests here, and then it will give us the achievement called Rust Bucket 2. And once you get the achievement, you know that you've gotten all of the chest, and you're ready to open at that point. But yeah, it's all random, and so whenever you're opening up the bags after you get all the chest, it's all random. You might get all good gear. You might get all bad. It might be a mixture. You might get an epic item once in a while. There's just a lot of different things you can get. And as you can see, I've never been in this area, so I'm looking around as I'm going. But the entire time, I'm glancing over at my other screen to look at riftgrate.com and make sure that I'm looking at the map right. And I will have a link to the map in the description below this video, so make sure that you go down there and check it out. And I'll also have all of Riftgrate's uh, guide themselves. They have additional pictures and all of that good stuff in there, so make sure you're going to visit it. Now, I go to Riftgrate.com all the time to check out all of the Rift news because, man... I don't always keep up on the latest stuff and Rift Great really helps me out with that. The guy just does a phenomenal job. I, I can't believe all the effort he puts into that site. So as you see we are trying to figure out where to go next. Oh yeah we're supposed to dive down under the planks there and then there goes the next chest. You'll see points where I'm kind of wondering where to go and I'm having to reference the the website and then I realize, oh yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go, so I start hitting that way. And I'm making a video guide myself because I want to show you guys my guide through it. That way you can follow me step by step and do it the same way if you like and get all of the chest. Alright, I think this is chest number four or five. It might be four. But, as you said, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of good gear, so. Alright, this is a point where I kind of go on the wrong side of the boat. I'm thinking it's right up there on that uh, plank going out the side. I'm kind of jumping up looking for the chest, but then I realize that it's actually on the other side of the boat. So, I end up swimming around. And, let's see how good I'm at this. Super jump up. And, yep. First try, got it. Whenever you do the first jump out of the water, it's always like a super jump. You jump extremely high. All right, now we need to get on top of that boat. And the only way to get there from here is to go back in the water and start all over again at the docks. But it'll only take us a moment to get right back to where we were. All right, just swimming along here. Swim, swim, swim. And you get to see me get stuck in the water here for a moment. Trying to get out. Rift, why do you do this to me? Let me out. All right. Getting mounted up. Jump back on the docks. All right. Now we're back on the first boat. 
And of course the first boat has a plank over to the other boat, so we can just cross that little bridge. But this is the point where it's difficult to get on the other boat. There's no way over there, so we have to figure it out. And the way to get over there is to get onto that plank there, and we have to get up on the bow. A lot of people like jumping on the, the railing there and then just walking off on it. I just go ahead and jump onto it. But once you're on it, go ahead and mount up, and that way you can do a big jump over. And it is at the back of the boat is the next chest. As you see right there, we get it. And then I believe we have one more that we need to get. So in order to get up to the next one, we need to jump on the roof there. And then it's a matter of just running along the side around the, the chimney thing there. Not too sure what it is. It certainly hasn't been on any boat that I've seen or been on. But let's go ahead and get this last chest. Alright, now this is going to give us the achievement, Rust Bucket 2. You know you've gotten all the chests once you get that Rust Bucket. Look at the PvP achievements and no PvE ones. Gosh, I'm such a huge PvPer. But, now we're going to get some PvE achievements, now that we're doing it. But, missed out on all the old stuff, that's for sure. Alright, let's get to opening some of these bags. Let's see what we get. Bag number one, we get some shoulders, and it's not an upgrade for us, but it looks like a nice item. So we're not real disappointed, just not an upgrade. Alright. Whoa, an epic chest, man. Look at the reaction on my face there. I am thinking, oh my gosh, what did I just open? And it is bind on equip, so I can sell it on the market if I wanted to. But that's a huge upgrade for me, as you see, the reaction on my face, I'm like, oh my gosh. Alright, let's open up another one. Come on, Grim, you've got to move on. Oh, yeah, I gotta show off my server first achievement there. Pretty nice. Yeah, good job, man. We'll take a screenshot of it and hang it on the refrigerator. Alright, opening up the next bag. And we get some boots, and it's a big upgrade for us, so very nice. Hate to get rid of the old Relic Myrmidon boots, but hey, gotta upgrade with the times. Uh, so disappointing seeing those boots go away, but let's move on. Get a helmet, and the helmet is quite a bit of an upgrade. The problem is, is that we're losing some strength. But we'll get a lot of that back once we put a rune on it and, uh, of course, Dream Ormond out. We'll get our strength back. So, that's not too bad. Alright, let's see here. We got some gloves there. We don't need those gloves. We got more gloves. We do not need those gloves. Alright, got some legs. And yeah, that's not an upgrade for us either. Not bad, but it's not an upgrade. Oh my gosh, we got three sets of gloves and none of them are an upgrade. So pretty disappointed with the gloves there, but that epic chest really makes up for it all. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you go to riftgreat.com. I'll have a link in the description below and check out all of their good guides because everybody's covering their stuff because they always have the cutting edge. Alright guys. As usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.